Do you want to be a femboy in public? Well, duh. Well, luckily, I have experience going outside, being a femboy, and touching grass. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to be a femboy in public. First things first, ask yourself these two questions. Number one, is your country homophobic? If your country has LGBT plus discrimination laws, sorry, there's not much we could do. If your country doesn't, that's great. However, your country could have no discrimination laws, but it can be homophobic. If your country is homophobic, avoid regions where hate crime and discrimination occurs. If you're concerned about your region being conservative, I've seen femboys state they dress femme in public in conservative regions, and they're fine. Also, you can research LGBT plus safe zones as a safe region to express yourself. And now the second question. Do you have friends you could go out in public with? If you have friends that you could dress femme in public with, that's great. If you don't, that's okay. If you've researched different LGBT plus safe zones, you can look for community centers to socialize. I'll leave some links in the description that you can look into. Community centers offers tons of resources. When I was in Sacramento, California for an anime convention, there was a community center called the Sacramento LGBT Community Center, and they offer a wide variety of resources. Some of the resources they have is a hangout spot called a Q spot where you can socialize and make friends. They also run community events, one of them being Q prom being held at Sacramento State University Ballroom at October 8th for 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Not only that, but they offer trans services, emergency housing, and counseling from Mondays to Friday. They have a lot of resources which I can't easily list in this video. If you're curious about what the community center has to offer and the events, look at the link in the description. Now, I mentioned places like the Sacramento LGBT Community Center because there are other places that offer similar resources. If you're curious if your region has something similar, Google if your country has LGBT community centers or check the links in the description. Now that you know a spot to express yourself, here's some tips for dressing femme in public. Number one, start small if you're nervous. When I first started dressing femme in public, I went out with shorts and a skirt, and I was pretty damn happy about it. It was small, but it helped me break out of my comfort zone, and it could help you too. Number two, have confidence. While you're dressing femme, have some confidence, man. Like, if you don't have any, fake it till you make it. Tell yourself right now, I'm awesome, I'm amazing. I will go out in public in a skirt and be majestic. <gasps> See, look how pumped you are. Now onto the last tip. Number three, how to handle catcalling. If you don't know what catcalling is, it's basically harassment. When I went out to public, it was very rare for this to happen. But just in case, if someone is verbally harassing you, first thing you need to do is ignore it. Most people that cat calls usually do it for attention. If the activity continues, you can respond to the harasser. If you feel safe, assert yourself. Don't use insults or personal attacks. Let them know their actions are unacceptable. If you're not comfortable with that, you can make the harasser feel uncomfortable. You can do this without even saying a word, such as staring them down and not saying anything. Or you could clap back, just like what this person did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to get married? Yes. Now, onto my last tip, which is to bring some self-defense. I recommend bringing a pepper spray. It's simple and really easy to use. And I recommend watching my second half of my safety guide. It'll provide the most useful tips on how to stay safe in public. This is my guide and I hope it helps.